I made a maze generator in Unity. That, that's about it. The first thing I did was make the maze node. This has four walls that could be turned on and off. It also has a floor that can change colors. Then I started working on the actual maze generator. It makes a grid of maze nodes. So it generates slowly right now, but it'll get faster soon. Next, I made it choose a starting node. This is represented by yellow. Then I made it pick the node to the right. The starting node is now blue for the time being, and the next one is yellow. After that, I made it pick a random node around the first node. I also made it so that if I press the space bar, it generates a new maze. Now I don't have to wait for it to load over and over again to have some random small addition. Now it's time to pick more than two nodes. I created a node path that saves all of the nodes that were selected and made it select nodes until there are no 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 bleh, no. <laughs> I created a nodes path. Oh. <laughs> I created a node path that saves all of the nodes that were selected and made it select nodes until there were no nodes left to select. And it doesn't work. Great. And now it kind of works. The only thing left to do now is to make the path go backwards when it runs out of nodes to pick. Now it actually fills up the whole board. So how does this work? There's a path list that the first node is added to. The selected node picks a random available direction to move in. That node it picks gets added to the path and becomes selected. If there are no available directions, it goes backwards, turning the node blue and deeming it finished. It just keeps doing this until the whole board is blue. So the board is blue now, but there's still no actual maze to go through. Luckily, I set everything up wrong and had to reprogram half of the algorithm to make it so that it can remove walls. But that's finally done, so now you get an actual maze. This is cool and all, but it's really slow, so I made it generate mazes instantly. Now that I have a maze, it's time to add some gameplay. I tried for a while, but I couldn't come up with any ideas for what to do for the game, so I just gave up and made a super simple maze solving game instead. First, I made the player, which is just a blue square that moves around. He's pretty quick. I also made the maze look better. Next, I made the goal. It just spins around. That's it. Then I made the player and the goal go to random places in the maze instead of just being in the same spot every time. The only thing left to do now is actually make it winnable. If you touch the goal, you win. It's pretty simple. I've been looking at the same maze size for so long and it's getting pretty boring. Luckily, I already made it so you can set the maze size to anything you want. Or not. This took me longer than I'm willing to admit to find and fix. It turns out I just needed to change two letters. That's it. But hey, it's finally done, so I guess that's all that matters. Now you can generate a maze of any size. And now I've officially run out of ideas. I made a maze generator and don't know what to do with it. I could make a generic horror game, but I wanted to do something unique with it. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments because I'd love to make a sequel to this video. If you want to see a tutorial as well, let me know that too because I will gladly do so. That's all I have for this video though, so have a good day and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!